Connection. Established. Duty link. Active. Broadcast. Incoming. Hello, catchers. Um, I'm making this update while editing the regular devlog. Uh, you know, I don't really talk much about on-chain updates here uh, in these devlogs, as me and my team are focused primarily on developing uh, the best game we can develop. Um, but I think the recent events really warrant some addressing, and I think this is a nice opportunity to just talk about a few things. Um, first and for foremost, as you probably know, Space Cage staking contract has been exploited, uh, which resulted in a temporary stop of trading uh, the Space Cage token. Um, the good news is that this has been caught by the team very early, um, so we've prevented any big damage, and basically all our efforts are continuing as if nothing happened, uh, especially on the game development side. Um, the other great news is that it also helped us to uncover some vulnerabilities, and we can basically come back much stronger, much more secure, and make sure that nothing like this happens in the future when the project is even bigger than it is right now. Um, We've been also able to track uh, who might be behind this attack and basically the wallets where the uh, basic exploited tokens ended up are uh, wallets that are linked to some other uh, other hacks that happened in the space. Um, so it's clear that we've been target of a professional uh, hacker group. Um, now, I'm not really the best one to talk about all of this. <laughs> and the reason why I'm mentioning it here on the devlog is just to recommend all of you to join our Discord. Uh, and follow the announcements channel as it is the best way to stay updated with what's happening with the project, both on the game development side, but also on anything uh, blockchain related. Um, so you can in real time uh, see our responses and updates on how we're handling, for example, this situation, but also um, about any future releases, uh, any opportunities for uh, gauge holders and things like that. So join our Discord. And now let's go back to a regular devlog. Hello catchers, my name is Dominic and I'm the lead game designer of Space Sketch. Today I'm really excited to announce the next chapter of Space Sketch and our next steps of development. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the things that are already in works and basically will get right to your hands very soon, as well as look at some of the future plans and other things. We finally had time to reflect on our roadmap, reflect on what we've delivered in beta and where we want to take it next. Um, first, before we get into the updates, I would like to talk a little bit about the plans overall. Um, currently, the first next milestone of development is a autumn sort of early access version of Space Sketch. Uh, compared to beta, what we want to introduce in autumn is to have a little bit more complete experience um, in the sense of it will be a game that will literally take you from level one to a certain level gap that will introduce in the early access and basically walk you through the game with a little bit more polished storyline and a little bit more quests for you to complete and different activities to complete. Um, but we'll talk about details of all, all of that later because some of this is already being worked on. Um, before we do that, obviously this is going to be a big major milestone that will introduce quite a lot of new things and introduce the game also to new players. Um, before we do that, we also plan to have some smaller updates in the current beta version. Um, and I think the first one that is going to be coming in the upcoming days is probably the most excited one. Um, but in order to show you what that is, let me take you to another dimension. Welcome to my home office. I'll walk you through some of the changes that we are preparing. Um, the first most exciting one is a non-AR combat. Um, so as you can see, uh, we've worked really hard on creating a non-AR version of Space Sketch, and very soon you will be able to play it yourself in the beta version. This is one of the updates that we still want to push and playtest with you catchers uh, before we um, basically continue also working on the other things that we have prepared for the, for the final, final launch. Um, 
what you can see here is we've created a um, virtual environment, um, currently urban environment. There's going to be first just one environment in the beta um, for now, but we are um, planning to create other biomes and other environments later in the future. Um, you will be able to explore the environment in like a limited way. I can already say that we've hit some Easter eggs and some fun things to explore uh, to the environment itself, but obviously, first and foremost, it serves as a backdrop for the combat itself. Uh, how the non-AR version is going to work um, is that you would be able to basically select um, before each combat if you want to drop the alien in the VR version, or sorry, in the AR version, or if you want to um, basically fight in the virtual environment. The most important thing for us here um, was to provide the same experience in both environments. This is something that we worked for quite some time on to really get uh, right and nail it. Um, because we don't want the non-AR version to be less difficult, as it is, for example, the case with Pokemon Go and some other games. We're really making sure that you basically get the same combat experience, it's the same, and really the choice is only aesthetical for you and sort of only what you feel more comfortable uh, because we believe the AR version does provide a additional experience and is something really really different um, to everything else but the non-AR version just might be something that just works better if you want to play from home. As I mentioned before we've now created one environment which is the urban environment but we are planning to add more biomes depending on where you are in the real world, that's where basically the alien is going to spawn in. Um, biomes are important for us not only for the backdrop and aesthetics of the non-air version, but also because we do have some plans in aliens uh, in different biomes. So you will be able to catch basically a little bit different types of aliens based on where you are to incentivize traveling, because the AR aspect and the immersion in the real world is absolutely important for us, even in the non-AR version. Um, so it's something that we're going to be continuing working on. One other thing I want to tackle on very quickly is that we have some plans on how to maximize the utility we can get from non-AR version. And one of the things is that it's something we haven't really shown much, but we have worked on uh, basically quite a lot of sort of backstory for where the uh, aliens come from. Um, and which planets are they from. And every planet has a little bit different, um, basically, background, a little bit different biome, different uh, geography. And in the future, it's possible that we will look um, into these planets, which is something that the non-AR version has enabled us to do, something we haven't been planning on uh, before. A next thing we, we have started working on um, is our crafting system and the system of uh, mini games. So what we've been doing recently is we have been just prototyping loads of things that we think might be fun and uh, we wanted to do for quite a long time. And we're deciding which ones we want to include in the next version and which ones we might need to either fully scrape or just introduce them later. One of the things I can definitely confirm is going to be happening is a, our unique uh, crafting mechanism. I don't want to say too much in this devlog, uh, I'll leave something for later as well, but what you can get ready for is that you, you're going to have a really cool crafting experience where you're going to have to first make sure you have the right facilities, make sure you have the right help if you need to craft something more complex, and of course the right materials. But even when you fulfill all these requirements, it's not clear that you will succeed in the crafting because the crafting will require a little bit of luck, but also quite a lot of... Um, mechanical skill on your part let's say to make sure that you can you can really craft what you want to do and the way we we're going to do it is through um different mini games that you would have to operate and you would have to fulfill um so that's another next thing to to look forward to on the other updates uh, we have been working on um the next alliance um so we are, have been randomly sharing concepts in the previous aliens um, and you typically, if you see a concept in one of the devlogs, in one of the future ones, you will be able to see the alien uh, modeled in 3D. Um, as you can see here, there is a lot of work behind, um, behind modeling each of the aliens and basically there is a big feedback loop uh, where 
the game designers um, needs to basically feedback on if the alien fulfills what we need gameplay wise to, for the alien to do. Then also art team obviously where we have the concept artists, we have the 3D artists who are modeling and texturing the aliens, we have the animators that make them give them basically movement, then VFX that uh, applies all the different effects and attacks they do. So yeah, to get one alien done moving and fighting with you is basically an effort of um, nearly seven, eight people <laughs> to, to get it across. So we've been doing lots of improvements on this um, and I'm going to show some of the aliens that we, we've now been working on on the screen. Um, we're not fully sure how we're going to yet introduce these, so you might see some of them in, in uh, eventual beta updates, but for some of the other aliens you might need to wait for the next game, Big Milestone, which is coming um, this autumn slash, slash winter. Um, we'll also keep working on adding new weapons to the game, because uh, as we're introducing more and more complex and difficult type of aliens, and as we're tweaking the game difficulty as well, you obviously need a bit more weapons to um, to fight with. So. That's one of the one of the next things we do, um, and yeah, that's everything for me today, um, and I'll get you in the next one.